What is going on everybody? My name is Jonathan and today we are doing another Illustrator tutorial. Have you ever seen those cubes and they have the text wrapped around the cube and you're like, how do you do that? That's what we're going to do today. So stick around and let's get started. We're going to jump right in and we have a 1920 by 1080 document. And we are going to first start with the text that we want to create. Let's make sure we have the correct color that we want. Uh, where's my color swatches? We're just going to do a black text. You can make this text color whatever you want. And then want another one. We're just going to use my name because just kind of made sense, I guess. Not very original. Jonathan Ayers. And so now what you need to do is make sure you have your symbols open and then click and drag these into your symbols panel right here. And then once you've drag, drug, drug these into them, dragged those over. I don't know, you grammar Nazis, fix it. Tell me what it is in the comments. Then you can delete those once you've dragged those over into your symbols. You can name them whatever you want. We're not keeping them, so it doesn't matter. And now we're going to create a rectangle. And we're going to use this color, even though it doesn't really matter. Hold shift to create a perfect rectangle. Rectangle. It's a square. And we're going to shoot for 350 by 350. Go up to Effect, 3D, Extrude, and Bevel. Now this was 350 by 350, so we want the extrude depth to also be 350. We can do fewer options, make that a little cleaner. Click OK. And now what I would do is I would create a copy and then hold Control Shift V, paste the copy on in place. So drag that back over, intersect. There we go. So now, actually we don't even need to have that there technically. So now we're going to go to, my brain just totally went blank. Oh yeah, so now we're gonna go over here to properties. Couldn't remember what step we were on. Go to map art. And now we want to be able to see, so now we're working on the, the red outlines which, uh, which surface you're working on. You can change which surface here by clicking through these ones. So the front, we're going to make my last name scale to fit. And then we are going to have the first half of my first name on this side. So now go down to my first name or whatever you chose for your graphic. And so just the first half. Fortunately, my name is a even amount of letters. And then we're going to go to the top and first name again. Put it about where you want it. And then I'm going to stretch this out so it's just the last four letters. So now what I want to do, because we want to put these letters onto the other shape so that way we have them front, front, or front side top, right? So click OK, whoops, go back in here. Invisible geometry, this will remove the colors and just basically gives you a, a clear shape. There's not even a wireframe here. So now what I would do now is expand the appearance of this and then give this the shape colors that you want. So now you've expanded it. So use your regular selection tool, click on it, object, expand it, appearance click off direct selection tool now you can select the sides that you want to select so now we're going to give this a swatches we're just going to go with i don't know like a blue and the top one we're going to give it a little darker blue and then the side a little bit darker blue so now what you could do is you could do gradients here, you could do whatever you want, but that's not the whole point of this, uh, this specific instruction. So now 
to make this easier, you would probably want to lock this selection. Click on this, hold, click, hold shift, keeps it perfectly in line again. And now you see where it says intersect, you can let go. And now you have your text wrapped around a cube. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys are creating. All of my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff's in the description, description below. Feel free to add me. I post there from time to time. Let me show me what you're creating. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. God bless. Stay safe. I'm out.